And as your kids get ready to head back to school, the new reality is you have to talk to them about active shooter situations. It is critical for them to be prepared both mentally and physically. And 13 Action News reporter Leah Pizzetti joins us now with some skills that your kids really do need to know. Yeah, Trisha, Carla, it's something we hope never happens to anyone. But the sad reality is that these shootings are happening in stores, in churches, and in our schools. I spoke to multiple professionals today who share different tools students can use as they head back to school. This cycle. Why it's important to know that it's cycle? Because if you try to grab the weapon, it can break your finger. It's not a sound you want to hear in public, but this counterterrorism pro says this AK-47 is important to understand because it's been used in mass shootings. He says if you can approach a shooter from behind, hit this release to get the magazine out of the gun. Let's say I'm, I'm the shooter, I'm firing, firing, firing. You see, now you can take this magazine and hit me here. For children in school, if their teacher is hurt, they should know to aim for the fingers. They can simply come and bite the fingers and remove the weapon. Another tool to tell your kids, turn off the lights and stay low if you're in a classroom. Uh, lie down uh, close to the wall this way and cover the head. Okay, in this manner, <clears throat> even if the door get open, it's dark, the shooter look who to shoot. It's hard to notice them. So how do you bring this up to your kids? It's not an easy conversation, but Dr. Annette Love says it needs to be done. Our children are exposed to much more than we were growing up. They have access to the internet, social media. So believe it or not, a lot of times they already kind of know what's going on in the world, but it's really our responsibility to have a conversation with our children. She says parents can start with asking their kids questions to see what they already know about what to do in an active shooter situation. What have you teachers taught you and if their teachers have not taught them what I'd like my kids to know that's when I kick into gear. Also these bulletproof backpacks by Guard Dog Security are available to buy. They're labeled as resistant against a 9 millimeter handgun and a 44 Magnum and started around $100. President Yasir Sheikh says the cost is worth it for the safety. All you're trying to do is put yourself in a better position than someone who does not have um, some sort of protection or armor and we're talking about again uh, Sometimes you're talking about only 30 or 40 to 50 dollars more than a non armored backpack. So if those parents feel like spending that much money is not important to them and it won't provide that personal security, then that's their personal decision that they have to make themselves. Now, these backpacks are rated at the same protection level as what Metro police officers wear for their daily protection. Coming up tonight at 6, we put these to the test against different guns to see just how protective they are. In studio, Leah Pizzetti, 13 Action News.